Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylee. This is Magpie Moonchild, my channel. Um, I do little tarot reads. What I do. Um, so a little bit of housekeeping. This is a general read. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not meant for you. But by all means, try your sun, moon, rising, Venus, midheaven, any aspect of your chart that you feel resonates. I'll put a link below so you can have a look at the chart to find your what's where when you were born. I'm a Cancer Sun myself, so I'm with you on this one. Although I don't think it's meant for me. They're never meant for me. They're meant for what you want need to hear, not for me. It is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please leave it with light and love. If part of it resonates, but not all of it, take what you need. It's like a buffet table. Take what you need. I tend to do romance, but I have had quite a bit of career come up lately. So obviously people have needed guidance in their career. So it can go anyway. But relationships are in work business as well. My fire alarm keeps beeping and I still haven't done that from two nights ago. So check your fire alarms. And if you're in California with those fires, I'm really sorry and I'm heartbroken for everybody out there. Please stay safe. Because that is heartbreaking. What's going on? I just want to cry for you. There we go, look all emotional and empathetic crying for you. If you're a cross watcher and you're here to see what's going on with cancer, you are more than welcome here. Everybody's welcome here. It feels emotional for you, cancer. Roles can be reversed within a reading. You can, if I say cancer and you're a cross watcher and you feel that the cancer role resonates better with you, it can be you within the reading and the other person within the relationship is cancer. And likewise, if uh, you are cancer and the other person resonates, side resonates with you, then read it that way. cards that I'm using are the Fountain Tarot. I'll put a link below for them. I love these cards. They are... It's a really weird one. Seven of Deception. Keep an eye out for somebody trying to take your joy. They're going to try and win at any cost if there's an argument going on. You'll, you will know exactly what to do with them because this is off in a direction. I need a drink, Cancer, because have you cried lately? A lot lately? It's a bit dried out. Make sure you hydrate, Cancer. Absolutely make sure you hydrate. Okay. Card using the Fountain Tarot. There's a much nicer one, look. Not much of a nicer message, but more beautiful cards. <laughs> Happy there's a bit of joy in there, a bit of fire in there. Um Obviously, with any divination reading, if you um, you should take the relevant legal, medical, business advice and use your own free will to make a decision, not base it purely on what the tarot has told you. It gives you a heads up of what's coming, gives you a suggested uh, advice for that situation and uh, sometimes an outcome of where that can go if you follow that advice. But it is not set in stone. You have free will. You can do as you wish. This is not predicting the future and it being set in stone and you cannot change the future once you're on a path. You have the choice to change your path and follow whichever path you choose to follow. But likewise, the consequences of that path are your own as well. So free will, take advice where needed from the relevant authorities. When I say authorities, I don't mean like the Department of Finance. I mean like... Somebody that works with an expert within that field. Somebody who has an authority of knowledge within that field. Anyway, let's get on with this read, shall we, Cancer? Because I've yabbered enough. And now you're here to read. See the sign. Ooh. You're all good at the moment. All growing. Expanding. Lots of feminine nurturing and helping people grow. Quite grounded. 
whether that's yourself or others. All right, Cancer, let's see what you've got for the 15th of November through to the 30th of November, 2018. Can I have a message for Cancer, please, for the 15th of November through to the 30th of November, 2018? Thank you. Okay. Wow, okay. No major arcana, so it's not big bang moments in your life. However, you're going to get some sort of communication come in. Something to bring you joy, because that's quite a happy. It's going to leave you a bit reflective. You're going to have to have take a moment to um, assess what that means for you, what, ha what this message is that comes in. It could be somebody contacting you or a letter in the post, email, Facebook message. Somebody's going to contact you. And traditionally, the Eight of Wands is um, it's a happy card. It's not a struggle, dark card. It is light and joy. It's traditionally called the um, Rods of Love. Passionate messages. So it's going to be a positive message. It's not, it's not all bad. It could be someone from your past contacting you, but I'm not necessarily getting anything specific although I'm my dinner's repeating on me all of a sudden so maybe it is a repeat message from repeated messages of love who knows but the person that contacts you has a clear direction that they want this conversation to go it's got the two of rods there two of wands which is setting your intentions so this message is going to come in with a set of intentions I'm getting romance with this I'm going to go with the romance because it just feels love this message is going to come in, they're going to set their intentions. And the good thing about this card is, yes, you have the intentions and the direction, but what bursts out of that when it's received is these six rods. And the six of wands is the victory card, the joyous celebration card. Yes, the battle was worth it. Yes, it's what it was supposed to be. So who, whatever this is, this is clearly going to come in and it's going to... Maybe you've been waiting a while for this message. Maybe this is, you've got to the point where you'd, <laughs> you've been patient and these cards now link in. So you've got the seven of coins in reverse, which is, is it worth it? That way up, this is, is it worth, is it worth it? And the eight of cups is off looking, soul searching for something that's going to emotionally fill you. These are in the reverse. So whatever this message is, it's like a victory. Yes, it was worth the wait. It was worth everything I put into it. You've been committed to something for a while. I'm getting the feeling that somebody walked away. This may be an ex actually, or just somebody that you thought would have, something would happen with and you were assessing. On some level, you've hankered. You've kept that feeling there. It stayed there. They've been with you a while. And this has felt like a long time coming. Look how far into the distance that explosion is. This has felt like a long time coming. You've had intentions towards them. They've had intentions towards you. Nobody's really done anything about it. All of a sudden, this message comes out of nowhere. It was worth the wait. It was. You've lined up. You've assessed. The Seven of Pentacles is lining up what you've got and trying to work out if it's worth carrying on. Do I keep working to the Eight of Pentacles and the reward, or is it just not going to pay off when I get there? And the Eight of Cups is soul searching. Something's lacking emotionally in you and you're off to go and find it. So maybe you've been on some sort of path or they've been on some sort of path thinking, assessing their situation and they, they've walked away looking for something and then they've realised that what they were waiting for is exactly you and what you're waiting for. You are what they were waiting for. You are worth the... And your weight and their weight is going to pay off. I mean, you get past the Eight of Cups and you get to the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish card. Yeah. They've done some soul searching. You've been waiting for somebody to make up their mind. You've been waiting for somebody to make up their mind to choose you. And they've chosen the choice is done. The choice is made. Look, blind, don't know what to do. I need to make a choice. 
choice has been made. They've made that choice. They've chosen that direction and they've messaged you. You are their choice. You are the one they want. You are the one that surpassed everything else. If there is any doubt in this relationship, the wheel of fate, bang, they're back to claim you. Your life is about to get shook up, good and proper. Good and proper. One problem with this. There is one problem with this situation. Yes, this is the person you're waiting for. Yes, that person's chosen you. Yes, it's everything you wanted. Yes, isn't it great? They're not, they're gonna contact you, but they're not necessarily gonna offer anything right now. They do care for you, I can feel it. They care for you. They're apprehensive because this is a major change. If this isn't next, they been away a while. You've sat in the back of their head. No, you've sat in the back corner of their heart. You, they've sat in your heart, back of your corner of your heart. And you think of them and you don't think of them with hate or anger or any of it. You just wish them well. It's that sort of, I love you so much, I wish you well. And that's how they feel about you. They felt like, but now they're apprehensive. They may have walked away because was it worth them waiting? Was it worth them waiting or should they walk away? They never really walked away. If you look, he's not really walked away as such. He's not that far from the cups. The cups are on the beach and he's in the sea. He's not going to go far without a boat, is he? They didn't want to walk away. They just couldn't stay there any longer for whatever reason. It just wasn't worth hanging on anymore. Maybe you were with someone else and they just didn't see that it was worth it. Anyway, they've made their decision now. They can't be without you now. They need you in their life in some form. They need you in their life. This is what this is. This is the big Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright. To me, when it's in the upright, it is a change for your greater good. For their greater good, your greater good. This is fate. The Wheel of Fortune is fate. They are supposed to be in your life. The universe has spoken these are supposed to be together bang put them together lightning that decision put them together the problem is that you were together and it didn't work or it might have worked it might have worked maybe you were okay together maybe it wasn't perfect maybe you were quite naive back then knight of coins is quite naive maybe you tried to make it into something it wasn't previously because this is like, the Knight of Coins is like an offer to grow a foundation together. Um, maybe it got too serious too quickly. You were quite naive, teenager-ish. You were too naive last time. You were too trying to force it to be something it wasn't. I've been there, done that. Tried to have a relationship that was more... Com <sighs> we're all brought up to be believe that we should be committed and that the main aim in life is to find someone to marry and settle down with. You don't have to be like that. If you're younger and you're watching this to try and hope that the love of your life is coming in. No one can love you fully until you fully love yourself. So you need to work on you if you're a youngster. And trying to force a situation and trying to get somebody to marry you because it's been two years or um and in your head you've got this little timetable it should be like this and i should do this at this stage this at this stage i had it i was that person i even turned into that person became that person i've been with him this long i should stay this you know it doesn't always work out great like that when you chase a ring and you chase an ideology that 
society makes you think there should be. You're quite okay to be on your own and to do your own thing and have someone pop into your life. Anyway, if that's the way you went, I'm really sorry I've overshared that. Um, they're in your life now for a reason. If this is someone new, they may have been looking for somebody like you for a while, tending their own roses. And now is the time to look for what they've found. But anyway, they've made a decision that they're ready. This is what they want. And they're changing their faith. They're, they are going with it. It's happening. And if they don't go with it, it's they're going to be guided to make it happen. This is meant to happen. Ten, it's a completion. Ten on the Wheel of Fortune. Number ten. This is supposed to happen, but you're not going to get deeply committed too quickly. You're both a bit apprehensive, actually, to do that. You might not even properly be together to begin with. You need to build a foundation. The night is all about offering a stable foundation. And I don't think either of you are in a great place at the moment to exactly offer each other foundations. But there is hope shining through. They've seen the light. And they don't want to come running in with... Let's get married. We've been together, you know. After a year, we'll get married, get engaged. After a year after that, we'll get married and we'll have X many kids. And... Or we'll adopt six babies, whatever. Yes, it's great to have those dreams and aspirations, but you do not need to set a time scale. And this is very much that you will just enjoy each other for the moment, whether that's sexually or soulfully. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, a bit of sex is good for you. I'm a bit more under then, didn't I? Sex, sex. It's good for you. But this is not going to lead to you moving in together right away. It's going to be quite slow moving. You have to build your foundations. You cannot be a, a teenager going at 100 miles an hour with this. It's divinely given. Yeah. That's good. It's good. This is good. These cards just fell off the bottom like they're meant to be. So yes, you found each other. Yes, you're together. Or not together whatever you're quite happy you are reconnected and that's all you really want is to reconnect there was hurt in the past one hurt the other or the other way around they've been hurt you've been knocked they've been knocked if you look she's just staring at a cup like i'm only gonna give this cup to the person it's meant for they're quite naive like they're quite innocent and you've been beaten up emotionally so small that you just you feel tiny you don't feel ready to necessarily go go flying go in the whole hog you've been hurt you don't necessarily you want to offer your cup and you you know that you want to but you don't want to go the full king of cups, balance, you know, the whole thing, shebang. You don't want that to you grow up. Does that make sense? In the relationship, I mean, you, you are a grown up. I'm hoping you're a bit of a grown up. I mean, I'm not completely grown up. I've been this, I am this person. I'm small. Things haven't always been great. I have been hurt in the past. I've not been sensible in the past. I've been that crazy teenager that was chasing a ring and then that, that crazy 20s year old that was chasing a ring made myself crazy over it. You, I'm a cancer. I take emotions and I run with them. I live in a daydream. I dream up, imagine, you know, romantic possibilities. But all the while, I'm still a small person that's still waiting for that opportunity I want to just come along I'm in my you know when you're in your shell I feel like doing this you're in your shell and you're like 
I do want you, that intro, that classic introvert, I do want to be out with you, I'm just scared and it's not, it's not what I know. I'm used to coming bang out the blocks and here I am, yeah, I'm a, I'm a crab, I'm a crab, a crab. Yeah, aren't we great? Yep, yep, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love me, love me, love me, love me, clabbering them in with your claws. Love me, love me, keep me, keep me, stay together, we'll build a home together, we'll do this. It's time to come out of that. It's time to come out of childlike, needy, clingy. It's time to grow up a little bit emotionally. And trust that the fates are guiding you. They're guiding you not to build your foundations too quick. The night is all about naive. The Knight of Pentacles to me is you're working in a supermarket and the guy pushing your trolleys and you think that you're going to grow up and, you know, have this great life. But you're working on the tills at 17, 16, 15, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, yes, your intentions, your intentions are honourable. You want to have a grounded beginning with someone, but when you, you don't need to have it right away. You have to grow up a little bit. You have to grow up emotionally. You have to acknowledge the scars that you've got. You have to acknowledge that you're going to get scars and process that. You need to look within. Look for the guiding light. Yes. This is, this is a great relationship that could potentially happen. But you need to look within because you do not need this relationship to complete you, to grow you up. You need to build your own foundations. They're not going to build that foundation for you. They are not there to... Put in the work for you. You have to resist the temptation for them to. This is an emotional opportunity for you. There's no Ace of Cups because it's not the whole. It will feel. It's not that joyous bliss emotional experience. This is a learning experience. You have to look within to find your own foundations. You have to look within to find your own um, financial grounding. There's no Nine of Pentacles here, so I'm getting that you're still quite damaged from what's happened to you. And that is what's made them apprehensive about you. And why they haven't come back and why they choose you. You are the one. You are their one. And they've chosen you. I don't think it'll ever matter whoever comes along. If they're not coming to you with an offer right now. They will contact you and reopen that communication and they're trying to ascertain whether you're still this damaged person or whether you're you've gone within and i'm getting that you've gone within and you are trying to work on you so they're not going to offer that solid relationship that and the commitment they're not if they come in with anything they're not going to be completely committed and i don't mean that they're going to cheat on you i mean they're not going to put down roots with you necessarily straight away they're going to take their time not for them because they do want that with you they do want they do want to offer you the home the family the grounding the foundations they do want to offer it to you they just can't right now for your good not theirs it's for your good. It's your own good. You're still... F I'm not saying fragile because you've come a long way from where you were. A long way. But you are not even... You've got internal. You're trying to learn what is my core. What is it that I'm supposed to do? You don't know what you want to do with your life. You don't know what your career is. You don't know which path to follow. 
but that's okay it's okay to be like that but you cannot be cross at someone because they're not coming into your life I get that they've been your person before. They've picked you up. They've tried to help you. They've... They had to walk away because you can't help someone that doesn't help themselves to a certain extent. You made yourself small. Yes, what happened to you may have been awful. Terrific. Some of it that happened to you. And they've walked away from you before because they could, just couldn't see it. It wasn't worth it for them to sit there and watch you be that person. To watch you, to watch the person that they love being made small. I'm getting that they're quite emotional about it. They, they couldn't watch you be made small. They know darn well that you can be the world. You can be everything. They know it's in you. You just need to find it. You need to look within. Move past being small. If, if you look within and you find what it is that makes you, you, your you-ness. There's a mad hat that says to Alice. You're not you, you need to, there's, ah, oh, there's your you-ness. If you look within and you, you just need to find your grounding, you need to find what it is that makes you you. Because the you that you are, look, it's beautiful, it flourishes, it grows. You just need to find it. And once you do, you can flip that into an opportunity to have grounding. You just need to do a bit of self-care, a bit of self-love and not punish yourself because I think this is where it comes from. You punish yourself for not stepping up to an expectation that is not necessarily there. Yes, society may have an expectation and you've taken on that, but at the end of the day, you put that expectation on yourself. You made yourself feel that you had to have somebody there. You made yourself feel that you were not a whole person on your own. And that's the problem. You need to be a whole person on your own. When you've got this coin, you've got your coin, they can come in with their coin. And you've got two coins in a future together. Balancing each other out. Equal. Equal coins. Why should they be the one putting in all the money? Why should they be the one putting in all the house that they've already bought just because you were all busy getting hurt? Which they didn't necessarily do, by the way. Look at it from the other way around. Would you want to invest in this? I'm not saying that where you are isn't okay. By the way. Where you are. But they have to set boundaries. Of what they are willing to accept. And what they are willing to put in. What they are willing to... invest they're they're investing the most precious thing they can in you their heart so you have to be in a place where you are okay on your own you can support yourself with or without them because then they will be forthcoming they're waiting for you you're waiting for them their heart is with you. They just can't give it to you right now. Because you don't have a whole one to give back to them. Does that make sense? Is that? And you need to get your hand getting that you need to take your head out of the place that something happened to you. Yes, bad things happen to you. But if my last... 15 years of my life has taught me anything is I let it happen to me too. If I just set boundaries. If I just realised my worth. Then. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm not upset about where I am at all. I'm not upset about where I am. I have three beautiful children. I have a comfortable home. But I settled. I'm with a great guy. Don't feel bad for me. I'm not trying to make you feel bad for me. I just... If I knew what I knew now, our relationship could have been completely different. In my formative years, I never knew what I was worth. People would tell me, and I never took what they said on board. They would tell me that I was clever, that I was pretty, that I was, uh, I was, if I was beautiful. But that didn't matter. That didn't matter how pretty I was or clever I was. I just didn't feel confident and I did have a cheerleader that told me how great I was and how beautiful I was and they'd call me their beautiful Kaylee. But now I get what they mean. I'm a pretty awesome person. I'll help anybody who helps themselves. I'm not completely a whole cup yet. I got very, very broken before I did that, before I got to here, and I met an amazing lady, I will probably tell everyone about it one day, who helped me find my way to build my confidence, to stop punishing myself for things I hadn't done or things I couldn't do. I'm not a great artist. I'm not a career-driven person. I'm quite happy that I have my kids in my home and that I'm a dinner lady in a school. I'm happy with that. And that I do this tarot reading. I'm happy with this. This is my path to do the to do tarot. It doesn't have to make any money. It doesn't have to do anything like it makes my heart sing. It makes my heart sing. I don't want to be a TA. I don't want to be a teacher. I, I'm happy being a dinner lady. I get to see the kids and look after them for an hour and a half each day. And I get to see them all grow up. They come up with the coolest things. They come up with the most amazing point of view that you just don't even consider. And I think that's magical. And we don't give them kids enough credit that they're magical. They have magic in them and we just... We let them beat themselves down to this. We let them develop like that. And we shouldn't. We shouldn't. And we shouldn't expect that of ourselves either, that we should. If you think it's awful how kids grow up and they have no confidence and there's all these mental health issues. Yeah, there's all these mental health issues because we don't allow ourselves to have headspace, to develop, to work on ourselves, to build our confidence. We, ex we set expectations on ourselves that we're never going to meet. And this person doesn't expect that of you. They don't expect you to marry them in a year's time. They don't expect you to want to have home with them in... 18 months time and get married in two and they don't expect any of this they, they don't expect it they just want you in their life they just want the joy of having you in their life and right now they're happy to be in your life without being your girlfriend boyfriend husband partner wife significant other they just want you in their life because you fill them up with the sunshine that you don't see can come out of you. They may be your one. But do not expect them to fix you. Give them the space. No, don't give Give yourself the space to find who you are. That's what that is. That is just your small your cup isn't full. You're still young. You're still naive in your heart. You may be, I'm 33. I'm still naive in my heart. 
you just have to look within you have to go on that journey within you have to go into your darkness everybody has darkness to pretend that you're okay all the time to pretend that you're not sad you're not challenged that's crap that's bullshit i'm sorry we all have dark within us you just have to look to find what is your radiating light and and find your footing find your grounding then once you've found where it is you want to go what makes you sing you can go off on your path you can grow you are going to flourish once you find it They want to see you grow. They want to grow. They want to help. They want to grow with you. Together you can double and double and double and expand. But at the moment, you just, you aren't expanding. You're living in the, sh you are your shadow self. You are the shadow self of your, who you are. Decisions not entirely made yet. There's karma to work over. Justice. Weighing it up. They're not making a decision anytime soon. They're not deciding to leave. They're not deciding to walk away. Yes, they hold back a little bit. They've gone over everything. They've gone over everything that happened. And they've recommunicated. Stop punishing yourself for things that went wrong with them before. This is a fresh start. Stop punishing yourself for it. It's not your job to punish you. It's not your job to assess how that hurt them or what went wrong or just stop overthinking about what went wrong and what went right and wasn't it great. It doesn't matter. That's happened. It's gone. Bang. This is a new start for both of you. Stop punishing yourself and work on you. Grow on you. Be good on your own. This is like the Beyonce card. This is fabulous on your own. Single lady. Look at her look. She's great on her own. You do not need another person to make you secure. Financially secure and stable. Emotionally stable. You have to be a whole person on your own. You have to be fine on your own. Only when you're happy. When you're happy and joyful do you attract if you're resonating higher and safely and confidently and great I'm, aren't i fantastic that's when you attract abundance into your life and you complete the cycle you reach completion look at her look she's comfortable in her skin she's got the whole world she owns the world she owns her own world her own cycle she's good she's solid and she's on her own once you've worked on you once you've got what you need for you not for another person not to satisfy another person you satisfy yourself you satisfy your soul you justify yourself to nobody do you understand me you justify yourself to nobody do not punish yourself for things that you think other people expect of you do what makes you happy. Find your core. Find your purpose. Find what makes you happy. Find your path and you follow it with all your heart, all your gut, everything you have. You manifest your own path. And then when you're doing your thing and you're happy and you're confident and you are stepping out of your own motherfucking garden that you've planted and you've grown with your little house on the land and you're this woman just sat there. I'm fabulous. Look at me. I'm the whole package. That's when the offer comes in. That's when that person steps back into your life. When you have a whole cup to offer them. I mean, the, the two of cups is two people, equal people, offering a cup to each other. Equal, balance, partnership. When you have your ace of coin, your grounding, your opportunity, when you have your coin, your foundation, your earth energy, they can offer theirs and you will look, step out of the shadows, offering a coin into the sunshine, into the joy, into the daylight. They have intentions towards you and you will have victory, but there's a bit of a path to travel there first. Just eyes on the horizon. There is no rush. If you're worried about being too old when you're with someone, you can have babies till you're 50. 
buy a baby, or well, not buy a baby, you can adopt a baby. It's never, ever, ever too late. And if if, if that's what's be with someone because you want to be with them not what's in their testicles or ovaries I don't need to shuffle these you can literally have the world this is the the ultimate card <laughs> apart from that I love this card in this deck and I'm so glad it's on the bottom cancer because once you've done all that and you've worked on yourself you can just be infinite you are you through and through the light shines from you you radiate the darkness you inspire people you are a beautiful soul and you just need to let your light shine and be unapologetic for what that light shines out just be be you your true self do not hide in the shadows for people and when you just be, it doesn't matter if this person that you're thinking about is there or not. And if you're a cross watcher for a cancer, if this was me, I would want you to tell me that you want me in your life. Because who doesn't want to hear that they're loved? And that doesn't have to be love as in I want to marry you, I want to have babies with you, I wish this had all happened last week, last year, last decade. You know, if you've been if it's like 30 years you've been apart, you just cannot get this person out of your head. And that's why you're watching. I mean, if you've been apart that long and you can remember what star sign they are, and you've managed to find this video, and I'm telling you, you should be with you should just you've clearly chosen this person, you've always chosen this person. That's why nothing else has ever worked. Congratulations on working on you, by the way. Great foundations you've got to offer. But you could equally work on you. But let them know, because they are clinging to something. This is why they're destroying themselves on some level. They think they're not good enough for you. I'm not saying fix them. I'm not saying get back together with them. In fact, perhaps getting back together isn't the best idea. At this time. Not ever. Say that exactly to them. Exactly that. Now is not the time for us to be together. I love you. I will always love you. We are supposed to be together, just not right now. You need to work on you. I will help you work on you, but I cannot do it for you. I will get you the help you need. As in, let them know they have a rock. Let them know someone is there. If you don't intend to be there in the long haul, do not say that to them, obviously. They may have big things they have to overcome before they can be with you and you know how their light can shine you know that you can even say to them i know you i know your soul i know how you shine because if you two are twin flames and supposed to be together that is you're supposed to help encourage them to grow and this is how they need to grow right now you've grown you're flourishing and that's wonderful i'm so pleased for you they're struggling and if they're your better your counterpart, your enhancement, you need to tell them that yes, it didn't work before. And we know why it didn't work before because of X, Y, and Z. I left you, I walked because I couldn't watch it anymore. I couldn't watch you compacting yourself. Every time you settle, you're condensing yourself down and you need to just boom. You were never made to be small. You were supposed to shine and bright and just share your light with the world. And all you're doing is dimming yourself. All you've done is dim yourself for another person that you're not supposed to be with. Help them grow. Help them shine. You know what to do. Your souls are twined. Your souls are twined. Even if you're not, you don't get together in the end, it doesn't matter. You love this person. I think you'd be with them whether you were friends or together you've got a lump they mean the world to you and you've watched them hurt themselves and make themselves small 
you could be a Sagittarius because this is the reading that I've uh, the other side of Sagittarius you've watched them get small they're growing they are working on it they're growing they know where their faults are they're a cancer we're both set we're self deprecate into a fault we self-assess to extreme levels just let them know you're there just contact them say i miss you mate i miss you play friends first if you want to do whatever but you love them you're stuck you just can't get it out just message them. This has just been playing for months. The Sagittarius thing and this is the other side. But yeah. Maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Just I would read the Sagitt I would just watch the Sagittarius reading. If you're the other person. But you need to tell them. That you are there. They're not. They're not alone in the world. Don't let them use you as a crutch. And do not use the other person as a crutch cancer. But do not, that's my alarm to tell me to go get my kid from school. Do not leave them, let them know they're not alone in the world. And that they are loved. Because I don't think anyone's ever loved them the way you love them. And no one's ever been you either. I don't think anyone's ever been you. No one's ever been you. beautiful i'm just going to do a quick i was going to do a love oracle card but i don't think i'm going to i think hansa needs to hear something encouraging that doesn't involve the heart because they're lacking confidence so i am asking for a message for cancer that they need to hear for them not for a relationship for them and I'm going to read it straight from the book. Did I just ask for no love? Soulmates. Oh my God, relief for what, eh? Soulmates. Okay. I'm taking it on. Empath, see? Taking it on. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship, fostering personal growth. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. And then little wing wins. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness and authenticity. It's always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too. So if you're the one avoiding cancer, just tell them, for God's sake, or whatever you believe in, for anybody, for your sake, for fuck's sake, their sake. Soulmates can be friends for life and or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gift. It says relationship message. Don't take this on too much cancer, but I think this is meant for the other side. The other person, the cross watcher. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude and break you open so you will finally claim who you are meant to be. Ignore that, that's for cancer. This can happen once you finally find your core and take what is yours and your path. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. So you need to let them, if you're the cross watcher, you need to let them know that you are there, that you feel this for them, but that they need to work on them. 
for you to get to that place to be with them. Protection message. An important relationship brings you to your knees. So this message is going to come out of nowhere, Cancer. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old so stories that don't serve you well, your, sorry, your well-being, enter into this dynamic so that you can heal them. They watched you hurt yourself, Cancer. They watched you make yourself small. Hopefully by them saying that they're there, do not cling to them right away. They are not your life raft. You are your life raft. But they can... By them being there, they're making you leave those damaging patterns behind. Does that make sense? You, and even if they're not, your soulmate out there will not be with you in this damaging way that you're in at the moment. You're hurting yourself as much as anything. Um, into this dynamic so you can hear uh, your patterns and all your old stories so you don't serve your well-being. Enter into this dynamic so you can, you can heal them, not them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. So you don't believe that you're even worth this, Cancer. This is what's amazing. The question is not, why did he or she do this to me? Why did they leave? But rather, what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. If you've had bad relationships and bad experiences, they are there to teach you a lesson. Now is the time to learn that karmic lesson so that you are freeing your soul and unburdening it with all the crap and all the, taking upon the lessons and the essential things that you need for this soulmate. This person's here for you. This person is your soulmate. They are. They are. They just are there for you they are meant for you but they cannot come to you you cannot attract them to you until you love yourself and do not allow yourself to take them on to fix so that they can fix you for you only you can fix you cancer only you can do i'm repeating myself i'm repeating you guys only you can fix you only you can do you only you can decide what path you go down only you can walk that path they are there with a light at the end as I said in my other video that I've just recorded for Gemini, be the whole Sunday. Sorry, those cards, by the way, in case you need them, are Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Um, be the whole Sunday on your own. You don't need another person to make your dessert. They are just the extra cherry, the bonus cherry. Or even the banana split, as I said in that. They're a banana split all on their own. You're a... Knickerbocker glory with your extra cherry, your Sunday with your extra cherry. You don't need another person to make that a whole dessert buffet. You are a des you just are wonderful all on your own, and then they come along and it's extra. It's double dessert time. Double dessert time. Anyway, I hope that that. Um, video has given you what you needed cancer it's twice as long as everybody else is just like Sagittarius it's like you two need your heads banging together honestly can you not see them no you're not because they've cut you off and they walked away Sagittarius cancer bang your heads together this needs to happen what is wrong with you why are you not seeing it why are you not seeing that each other is the one and yes they're broken and yes I think you love them even though they're broken you just couldn't see them that they're not that broken anymore if you are the other the cross watcher and you're worried about how concerned they are about you might not be a Sagittarius I'm sorry if I'm calling you Sagittarius but if you are watching this and getting that vibe go and watch a Sagittarius video because you watched them you walked away it was for your own good you need to stop punishing yourself for that cancer you need to stop yourself punishing yourself for them walking away but you've got to put it the other way how long could you watch them hurting and making themselves small and, and diminishing their light instead of appreciating their worth and shining their own light. Anyway, I hope this has given you what you need, Cancer slash Crosswatcher. Um, 
please leave me a message below if it's resonated hit in any way i'm sending you so much love and light and blessings to you if it didn't resonate i'm really sorry it might do at some point love and light to you thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon keep safe keep happy keep healthy keep doing you